Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Bulldrum. Back at home on another video. In today's video, we are taking a look at a new set of Funko Pops that I have recently completed. I say recently, as in getting Asuna here in uh, this morning in the post. But yeah, so in this video, we're taking a look at Kirito and Asuna from Sorter Online. I don't know if this is like a reboot or what this set exactly is. But I just know that they're updated from the original Pops, which. I do think I have somewhere, but I'm not going to try and dig them out for this video, because I do believe they are in storage for selling purposes. So, yeah, if you like this, hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I upload all that good stuff. And always, let's start by setting these two off to the sides and take a look at their boxes, which we'll start with Kirito. So, here we have Kirito's box. His name is Kirito, as you can see. Here's his art. This is a special edition. Um, I'll show on the back how it's different to the in original. He is number 992 from Sword Art Online. He is part of the pop animation because Sword Art Online is obviously an anime. Here's the top. Here's the side with name and number. Oops. Here we have him on this side with Kirito 992 and all that good stuff. On the back of the box you can see numbers 989. 990 and 991, being Asuna in her normal pose, Kirito in his normal fighting stance, and Leafa, which I do remember her from SAO. Um, but you see the difference between Kirito's art here and Kirito's art here. You know, two complete different stances. So there we have that. And here we have Asuna's box, which she is in a protector, the seller that I bought this off said to put one, her in one for me. Um, you can see her name is Asuna, she is also a special edition, there's that shared sticker there for the UK. Here we have her art, she is number 993, as you can see there, along with pop animation. Here's the top, here's the side, and here's the full art side, which, to show next to Kirito's, if you were to display them side by side, they are kind of, you know, near facing each other in a certain way, which looks pretty cool. And then for the back of the box, we have Asuna's Special Edition and Asuna's Regular, which the Special Edition is the only one I've actually seen for sale, I'm nearly sure. I don't think I've seen the regular Asuna and Kirito, not that I would get them anyway, because I have the Special Editions now. But, obviously, here, um, same three as before. So, yeah, that is it for the boxes. Let's now take a look at Kirito himself, which here we have Kirito himself. In all of his detail and glory. We'll start with the head. You can see he's just got his beady black eyes as always. Um, maybe if I turn the flash off this might look a bit better. I'm not quite sure. Yeah okay looks alright I suppose. But you see just beady black eyes with his hair done in just a sort of slightly matte black design. Probably a little bit dusty from sitting on my shelf for a while. But you can see, pretty basic hairstyle, nothing terribly, nothing terribly special going on there. But it's a good Kirito mold for his body and his armour and outfit and stuff. I'll keep my flash on for this. You can see his main jacket is done in black along with his gloves. But there is a lot of that sort of like clay grey to break up all the black which is very very nice. You see along the arms as well, if it wants to stay focused, you know, all the stitching and design just breaks up the black, which looks amazing. You can see here as well, don't know how well it wants to focus, but you see the little, like, piece here for his, like, straps going around him. It looks like a fidget spinner, it always has, don't know why, but it does. And then we have his black sword, which is his main one. And his blue sword, I do not remember the names of these, unfortunately. Um, but this one he gets in like the main, first main season of SAO as like a really rare drop from something, which is very cool. You can see for his legs, he is mid-jump pose. That's why his, his legs bent at the knee there, and he's kind of like leaping. Which you can see from the back, the flight stand is there, just pegged into his back, or moulded into his back. Which is very nice. And yeah, that was it for Kirito. You can see what he looks like in full. 
and we'll set him off to the side again and take a look at Asana, which here we have Asana in all of her glory. And you see, starting with the face to work our way around, go up th her three eyelashes there, along with her beady black eyes, as always. The hair is done in a nice, like, light orange, which you know, is like a light ginger, which looks nice. She's got a bit of braids, like braiding done here, which looks very nice, going into the bit of like a bun or a ponytail there at the back. Here you see her outfit, which the sort of skirt slash dress piece is done mainly in white, when the skirt piece itself is actually done in red, that orangey red, it looks more red in person. You can see her sheath for her sword is done in red and white there very nicely. She's got the um, logo there on her knee of her suit. And then her boots are done in white, which her boots actually relatively match Kirito's to some extent. Obviously, Kirito's look a bit bulkier, but like, you know, the style actually kind of matches. I suppose it's the same anime, but still. Then she has her sword, which you can see from this angle how it looks. And just the rest of her outfit is done in that red and white. As we turn it around, you can see the way her sort of cape piece here flo you know, flops about. And her flight's done here, which looks very, very nice. So, yeah, very, very cool. Like, just a lot of detail. And again, I would say she's kind of like jumping and you know, mid-flight for this, which, as I said, you know, if you have Kirito any more tilted like that, in a way, then they're kind of, like, jumping towards each other, or whatever, I don't know, like, I'll just say that it's a whole thing of, like, these two are together within the anime, so, makes sense, but, I suppose if you, well, you can't with Asana, you can at least turn Kirito's head if you want a more of a face-on attack instead, but, still anyway um so that's kind of it for these two um i'm gonna just center them a little bit better i want to show some of my other more recent funk pops with them we have uh izuku midoriya from my hero academia which i want to bring the camera up back a little bit to show this off here we have deku we have eri as well from one of our previous reviews which I can squeeze her in the frame as well. You see how that looks from these two. Which set those off to the side. We also have Riva and the Grand Inquisitor, providing they don't make a mess. I said providing they don't make a mess, but as always they do in some capacity. You have Riva and the Grand Inquisitor, which looks interesting. They don't look too bad together. But I obviously would not display them together. Um, one other Funko Pop that I haven't actually shown off in a video yet. Because I don't have one to pair them with. Here we have Tanjiro from uh, Demon Slayer with his noodles. And here we have another one that I've picked up. But yet to get a secondary one for. Is Eevee from Pokemon. So hopefully going to get Glaceon soon. And I might try and get one of the new Nezuko's that are coming out. Because there's one when, you know, from like the first episode or something for this. So... Yeah, um, that is going to be it for this video. If you like it, hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I upload all that good stuff. And yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed. I will have more Funko Pop reviews in the future. And I also have the Jujutsu Kaisen videos going up for Fortnite recently because obviously the event and whatnot. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time with something different. Goodbye.